Hey guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Today we're going to go over the new Succession Wusa skills updated on Test Server. We should be getting these in the next patch, so very very soon. There are a total of 8 new skills for Wusa, so that's going to be 6 for bombs and 2 crossover skills. Sort of crossover awakening skills, I guess you could call them, but they're not really linked to awakening. Rabombs are a choice of two skills per set, so in actuality, you don't have six new Rabomb skills that you can use all at once. You can only use three Rabomb skills in total in case you're newer to the game and didn't understand what Rabombs were. So let's go over our first level 56 Rabombs. They are both sub 10 second skills, so not too long. Decent damage with the first giving us super armor and the second a partial frontal guard. Of the two, I would honestly take the first one. It's very similar to our Kaleidoscope skill, almost identical. For our level 57 Rabam, we have 8 second cooldown skill and a 10 second cooldown skill. The damage is not as good as our level 56 Rabams, but we do get sort of PvP CC on these. The one that has a partial frontal is similar to our Thunderstroke skill, but unfortunately there is no current way to cancel it as far as I've been able to test like we can with the Thunderstroke skill, making it less than good. Because of that, I am more partial right now to the second Rabomb of the level 57 Rabombs. That one has a knockdown CC. It is a long range knockdown CC that you can kind of throw out there. Decent speed for the animation as well. You can kind of use this from long range while you're doing your protected movement and skills. Kind of throw that in there. Or you can use it as an extension to your combo since it is another knockdown that we can use in PvP. For our level 58 Rabombs, we have two utility skills. One is going to increase your HP recovery by 300 for 20 seconds. And the other one is going to heal you for 60% HP and drain your mana for 5 seconds with a chunk of your mana being drained on the initial use of the skill. So of the two, I like the initial burst of healing on the second Rabomb since it also has super armor. You can rely on Fairy to recover your mana after you lose all your mana. After that tick, you'll get that mana back with your Fairy anyway. Very situational skills, I think, overall with these two. So you can play around with them and see which one you like more. Now for our two crossover skills, we can use both of these. Uh, we have a down C skill, which is Super Armor AoE with decent damage and insane AoE. But it's a little slow for my liking. I haven't figured out if I can cancel it yet. We also have the WC skill that is not protected, but does a lot of damage and has Conal AoE, which I know not a lot of people like, but it's fairly good. Has a heal on hit modifier, also really good. The knockback CC is there for PvP as well, but the damage is reduced heavily in PvP, so don't rely too much on the damage here. It does a lot of PvE damage, not as much in PvP. You can cancel the skill after the first hit if you try to use it for like a quick unprotected catch, but overall, the skill is the best out of the bunch, I think, of the new ones we've seen today. Really quick, good AoE. Frankly, both crossover skills are honestly decent looking from the test server. Being crossover skills, they have add-ons available, so they're going to be tier 2 add-ons should you wish to use them for these skills. Now, once these skills go live, I'll play around with them in combo, see what we can do with them. Keep in mind, for bombs tend to change from test server to live. That's why I'm holding out on including combos right now until next week. We're also still missing the Magnus Abyssal skill, which I assume will be released next week in test server, so in about a week and a half for us on live. So those are all the new skills for Succession Wusa. If you are still enjoying the class, let me know in the comments. If you decided to wait for Megu, which is coming out next month, let me know what you didn't like about Wusa in the comments down below. And as always, thanks again for watching, thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.